This is the future. There are lots of things to look forward to in the next update which will happen tomorrow. One thing that I'm really interested in Liu as Prey update is the upcoming arcane that is farmable in the new conjunction survival game mode. Digital Extremes teased in their latest dev stream that they will be adding an arcane that gives you max health stack. This means that every time you pick up a health orb, you will gain maximum health. Now, we don't know the exact activation feature of the arcane, but I prepared something special for this, and we will discuss it in this video. So, assuming that the arcane will guarantee max health increase per health orb pickup, then it would work on some major loot frames, and also with the help of the Helminth system. Probably, it would be super busted with Reaping Chakramniza since each time you kill an enemy, there will be a high chance of spawning a health orb which then activate the arcane. I'm pretty excited to try out Niza, and see how tanky he becomes with this new augment. Not to mention that we can also try out the Fire Elemental Niza build, paired with this survivability setup. There's also Necros with his Desecrate ability. The max health stacking arcane will also be super busted with this Warframe as we all know that Loot Daddy can help us drop a lot of health orbs, which means we will be able to gain the maximum benefit of this arcane. Probably, Necros will be super resient with this arcane especially if you are using a Dispoil build. The max health will allow you to farm better since it will help you mitigate the drain of health per kill coming from the Dispoil augment. Not to mention that the max health will also give you great survivability with the Shield of Shadow build. The damage mitigation of Shield Shadow will definitely pair well with the high health values we can gain from this arcane. Oberon will also love this max health stacking arcane and I can't wait to pump high health values with this goat warframe and see how much health regen he can get with renewal. Do remember that Oberon's reckoning ability can also drop health orbs, and this will help you increase your max health in no time with the new arcane. Also, Inaros would be super busted and I can't wait how much health he will receive with this new arcane. The only problem though is he don't have any built-in abilities that can force spawn health orbs. I'm assuming that the new arcane will work with Protea's dispensary, and I am planning to subsume this ability with Inaros. A dispensary in Inaros would be super cool with the max health stacking arcane and I'm already wondering now how much health he can gain with it. But the biggest question is, how much health can your dog or cat companion will have? Now, there are still questions that needs to be answered. First of all, how much max health can we gain with this new arcane? Also, will it work with the synth fiber mod, wherein if we are at full health, we can still pick up health orbs when we equip this mod in our companion? Also, I just hope that the arcane will not be duration based. I'm assuming that it will somehow be like Molt Augmented wherein there's a limit to the stack, and we gain a portion of max health per health orb drop. Assuming that Digital Extremes will follow their balance mantra, then I think they will be giving us 10 max health per health orb drop, and the max health that we can get from this arcane will be 2500 health. But, if Digital Extremes will go bananas and let us have some fun with this arcane, then just give use 10k health bonus. If this happens, then this arcane will be super broken that you can actually make good use of this not just on specific Warframe builds, but all Warframes as long as you got Dispensary in your Helminth. All Warframe will be made tanky with the help of Adaptation, the new health stacking arcane, and then arcane arcane grace. In fact, there's a chance that this arcane will give decent max health to Warframes that we can pair it with some unorthodox builds. However, it would not be super meta since we can only make good use of it in specific missions, like endless survival runs and steel path missions. So basically, I think Digital Extremes should not be super conservative in the buff that this arcane has to offer. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Are you also excited with this arcane? Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.